What's up, Fishing World? Cole Sands here again with your weekly fishing report. It is October 4th, 2021, and uh, the fishing is actually looking really good for Lake Chickamauga. Um, had a really great week guiding this past week, um, and the grass is setting up great for this fall. I really think it's going to be one of the best falls we've had in a couple years, so I'm excited about it. But uh, before we go into everything, uh, I said last week that I reached 1,000 subscribers, which is huge. I, I can't thank y'all enough. Um, I truly do appreciate the support. And like I said, the, the more y'all do, the more you subscribe, like my videos, the more giveaways I can do, and uh, the more I can help y'all out. You know, that's, that's what I want to do. I want to help y'all catch fish, and, and the more support I get, the more I can help y'all do that. So um, thank you. But real quick, the winner. It took me forever to put all the, the subscribers in, uh, the subscriber names in a, a random generator. Finally got it done. And I, I picked a winner uh, earlier today, and the winner is Griffin Fernandez. Um, I know he's a college fishing guy. I think he fishes for Adrian. Um, he's a great angler. He just won a national championship. Uh, but I look forward to, to fishing with you, man. Uh, get in contact with me. Um, for some reason, if he's not able to, I will uh, pick another winner. But uh, thanks again, guys, for the support. Like I said, once I reach maybe 2,000 subscribers, um, I'd love to do another giveaway. Uh, so y'all keep subscribing, keep liking my videos, and. Um, you know, maybe it'll be one of one of y'all next time. Uh, but, but truly, thank y'all. Um, so let's go ahead and dive into this this weekly fishing report. Uh, last week, um, I had I think three guide trips. I had a couple on, I had two on Chickamauga, one on Watts Bar, and uh, they all went actually pretty well. They, um, the Chickamauga trips went really well. Had good bags. Had one really really big bag and one solid bag. The two times I went to Chick and Watts Bar actually fished really good too. Um, but what's going on? Uh, on Chickamauga right now, we finally got to the point where the, a lot of the grass mats are starting to hollow out. And what I mean by that is you, you get a lot of kind of washed up grass. You get a lot of grass that's broken up a little bit and just kind of pushed in. And it's, it's a mat on top, but it's hollow underneath. It's not near as thick. And what that means is it's time to throw a frog. And uh, we had one really, really, really good day last week. Um, I was fortunate enough to catch a couple eight pounders and uh, we, my clients caught some good ones. And um, one of the main things, one of the key players last week was a, a good old hollow body frog. And me personally, I always like a, a dark color one. See, that's kind of a, a black on bottom, bluegill color. That's always been my go-to. I know, you know, several people like a white or a natural frog color, or even a shad color. Uh, me, 99% of the time I'm throwing that one. Um, I just think fish and, and grass mats are easier to catch when they're chasing bluegill. Uh, and that's why I go with that frog. The biggest thing is when you get them grass mats, I'm listening to hear that popping. And usually if you're in a grass mat that you're going to catch fish out of, you'll see the fish moving around. You know, you'll see a blow up every now and then. You'll, you'll see a little bluegill come on top of the mat getting chased. And that's kind of what I'm looking for. You know, I'm finding them hollow mats that aren't super thick. And I'm getting in them, and a big thing is just experimenting with the retrieve. You know, a lot of days, you know, everybody wants to do that same methodical retrieve, but a lot of days you need to mix it up. Maybe it's a faster deal, maybe it's a super slow deal. Uh, one of the eight pounders I caught this past week, it was moving it super, super slow. And uh, that's what triggered that fish into biting. So getting them grass mats, um, experiment with, with that retrieve. You know, I like a dark frog, throw whatever you got confidence in, that's the main thing. Uh, for the setup, I'm throwing a 7.6 Heavy Witch Doctor Tackle Rod. Um, the thing is a beast. It doesn't weigh anything, but it's, I mean, you can haul in an 8-pounder out of a grass mat like it, like it ain't nothing. 65-pound uh, braid. I use a high gear ratio reel um, just because a lot of times if you hook a big one in the grass mat, he'll blow up on that frog and he'll swim straight at you. Uh, so, I mean, this is like an 8.5 to 1. You can go down a little bit to like a 7 and, uh, and get away with it. But that's my setup for frogging, and, and this is the main bait from now till the end of November that I'm gonna be throwing. Um, everybody loves it, everybody loves a frog. It's, you know, it's one of the most awesome blow-ups that you can ask for. Um, and then really, I mean, that frog was productive, caught some good ones on it, but what might have actually been the most productive bait last week was punching. Um, you know, not a ton of bites, but it seemed like when we did get a bite, they're all three plus pounders. You know, they're between three and six pounds. Um, and to do that, um, Punching two baits, and they're both made by Gambler. First one, Gambler Stinger, just a uh, really cool looking creature bait. This is like a watermelon red or a California 420. Um, ounce and a quarter, ounce and a half weight, punching it in there. You're just making a, you know, you gotta make a thousand flips. You just gotta commit to it. 
But when you get a bite, I mean, every bite, like I said, I think the smallest fish we caught was a three and a half pounder doing it. Um, so it's a, it's a good bait. And it's really my go-to punching bait. And here's another one I really like to throw. That's a Gambler Ugly Otter. Um, and originally these Gambler Ugly Otters, they come attached right here. These little appendages do. I cut them so they kind of, they hang and they displace a little bit more water. And then I also make a little modification on the tail. And you can tell I've, let's see if I can get it. I've actually separated that tail. All that does with that big weight when it's falling through the mat, that little tail looks like a little bluegill tail or something like that. And it just displaces a little bit more water than it does originally. Um, I like, I like when I'm punching for the bait to make some action, you know. Uh, some people don't. You know, with the stinger, it, the little little appendages, they, they do kind of make a tail action or something like that. Same way with that, uh, that ugly otter from Gambler. Both great punching baits. To be honest, I don't know if it matters, you know, too much between the two. They're my confidence baits. They're what I'm picking up when I'm going punching. Um, so, so far punching, a frog was good. Uh, a drop shot, I talk about it every week. He, he got his keeper bites, you know, when it slows down, you pick up a drop shot, um, getting around some of that bait. Bait I started throwing this past week is a little shaky shad. Um, I've talked about it some, but I've been throwing it in that pinky color, which has got a really cool, you know, almost a morning dawn deal, but it's, you know, it's a bright pink and then almost a, a purple core. So it really looks like a shad or something like that. Um, and I don't know what it is about pink, fish eat it. I don't know what they think it is, but all that matters is you catch fish on it. So those are some of my main baits. Um, we're getting a lot of rain this week. So I, I expect the bite to be really good. Um, I expect some really big fish to be caught this week. Caught some fish on this. Now my trip on Watts Bar caught some good ones on it. And that's just a Yozuri pencil popper. Um, I talk about it every week, man. It's a, it's a great top water. I always have it tied on in the fall. I mean, since July, that rod has been on my, my front deck. And I messed around with colors a little bit. That's real blue back herring. You know, it's just super bright, kind of flashy color. Works really good on sunny days. Um, I just had a top 10 at Lake Norman, and one of, the, one of my big fish on day one came off that bait. It's a great spotted bass bait too, if you're, if you're into that. Um, Chatterbait, just throwing a little natural shad color. Um, I think that's clear water shad. Uh, caught some fish on it. It'll be a really good bait as that grass starts to die off in some places. You know, with, the, with that rain, you might find some sparse grass. That's when I really like that chatter bait. And then besides that, grab a bait real quick. Grab a couple baits. Um, besides that, one of my biggest fish last week came on that very jerk bait. And that's a Yozuri Pearl Shad. Um, Pearl Shad's the color, that's the Jerk Bait 110 SP. You know, just a, a real kind of translucently white color. It's my go-to jerk bait. Um, don't matter if it's winter time or, or summer. I mean, that's that's the, the jerk bait I'm picking up. Um, caught an eight pounder on it on, I think it was Wednesday. And um, for that, kind of the same thing I, I look for with, uh, with a lot of things this time of year. And that's just finding a grass line and finding shad pushed up against it. And um, you know, it's a good way to catch a big one. Uh, lastly, uh, you know, with a bunch of rain, a bait I like to throw a bunch is a buzz bait. And you can actually throw this through a lot of the grass mats and around a bunch of them. And this actually is a smaller buzz bait. I think that's an eighth ounce. And I actually got a little chartreuse on this. I was fishing some dirty water that, water the other day, but usually I'm gonna throw more of a clear, um, a clear trailer, maybe even a small swim bait. And that's a good bait when it's rainy, it makes a lot of noise and you can throw it around grass mats and catch some big ones. Um, yeah, but besides that, you know, looking forward uh, to the rest of the fall, this next month, I wanna focus in on frog fishing. Uh, you know, big braid, big rod, going after big fish. Uh, it's my favorite way to catch them. But uh, thank you all for tuning in. I'll be back next week and, uh, you know, leave some questions. I'm gonna do a video uh, talking about uh, what knot I use to connect braid and fluorocarbon. I'll be sure to post that one. I, I know somebody asked about it. And uh, thank you all for all the support. See you all next week, guys.